Team C today is the first media outlet to report this news. And the, they are the only ones that I can trust since they have all the details. So, yeah. That's a shock to me because I was looking forward to see Betty White, you know, actually reaching 100 this year on January 17th in 17 days. But it's likely not going to happen now. Since TNC got a word from one of her agents. So I'll read this. Beloved actress, comedian, and American icon Betty White has died just weeks before a milestone birthday, Team Z has learned. Law enforcement sources t- tells Team Z Betty, Betty passed away at her home Friday morning. A trailblazer and a pioneer in media, Betty had the longest running career for any woman in TV prior to her death. Starting in multiple shows over the past eight decades, starting way back in 1939. Betty is perhaps most famous for her lead role as Mose Lund in The Golden Girls, which ran from 1985 to 1992. She'd, be, she'd been in tons of, of her big hits throughout her life, though. Betty got her start in radio in the 40s, making appearances on Blondie, The Great Glider's Sleeve, and This Is Your FBI. She eventually got her own radio program in 1949. Betty White began working on a television diary show with Al Jarvis called Hollywood on Television, which she later co-hosted, before breaking out into more, more TV roles in the 50s and beyond. With 115 acting credits to her name, Betty has shown in productions like Life with Elizabeth, Date with the Angels, The Mary Tyler Moore Show, The Betty White Show, The Love Boat, Mama's Family, The Golden Palace, Ladies Man, That 70s Show, Hickley Town Heroes, Boston and Eagle, The Bold and Beautiful, Pound Pocket East, and uh, Cleveland, and many, many, many of her shows and films. She has received numerous accolades over the course of her career, including multiple Emmys, Screen Actors, Guild Awards, American Comedy Awards. And even a Grammy. She's been nominated for several Golden Globes and has also been honored with lots of lifetime achievement awards, celebrations throughout several organizations. The last time we got Betty in camera, she was teasing the start eating the Facebook for herself. As we told you, Betty had been ex- extra cautious during the pandemic, mostly chilling at home and passing the time by reading, watching TV, and doing crossword problems. Betty was 39 and she was getting set to celebrate her 100th birthday on January 17th. R.I.P. Well, at least she actually had something, had time to do, you know, because it's a deadly pandemic out there and we still are on a deadly pandemic, especially in 2021, now leaving over to 2022. But it still breaks my heart that we will never get to watch her grow old and celebrate her wonder birthday together. I'm going to miss Betty White as much as everybody else. And she doesn't look a day over 100 years old. She pretty much looks like 60 years old for age. 
I mean, I'm not kidding. She really does look... Si she really does look 60 years old for for a girl who is 99 years old. She looks young again in like 50 years. And, you know, it's such a shame that this had to stop right there because... Every time Twitter was trending Betty White's name, we can only hope that she would finally reach 100 years old and that would be the end of it. We can only hope that Twitter would reassure us and say that Betty White is not dead every time she her name is trending because we all thought that she wouldn't make it to her 100th birthday. And unfortunately, life happens. Life happens. <sighs> I kind of watched Betty White all throughout the years when she was doing multiple interviews at Entertainment Tonight, Access Highwood, and possibly many more shows that I watched in the past that she did interviews with and it's it's sad it, it was sad to hear the news today that she had passed but I was glad that I get to watch all the Betty White interviews when I was a kid I mean, I didn't knew her much in like 2004 and the years beyond until like I get to do a little bit more research on Betty White, which I have done in the past. I read some research on her and, you know, watched some videos of her being in, in a show like The Golden Girls, which I never knew she was in because she looked younger then and she's younger now and you know I'm glad that she get to live her life as full and long as possible but I wished the guy upstairs would just keep Betty White a little bit longer for at least 17 days. At least 17 days. Or at least, at least 20 days so we can celebrate her birthday together with her. Unfortunately, that is not going to happen. And I don't know what's going to happen on January 17th if we celebrate her birthday without her. I don't know if the, if the birthday celebration that everyone's going to watch is going to happen. I mean, we were, I mean, everybody was all invited to go and watch. On January 17th. I'm not sure if that's going to happen. It might. But I don't, I don't know if it's, if it's going to happen. If she's not around. You know. I thought it would be. You know. Cool if we watched it with her. But anyway. Rest in peace, Betty White. You were a kind, gentle soul. You were a wonderful human being and you will be forever missed.